Hello Blue Cats and everyone in Coleman, welcome to BNN. The school building is closed but school is still in session and we're hard at work on BNN. Here's an episode all about COVID-19. Everybody has some concerns and questions about this COVID-19 virus. Here's Abigail with some helpful information. What exactly is COVID-19? It's a respiratory illness that can spread from person to person. The virus that causes COVID-19 is a novel coronavirus that was first identified during an investigation into an outbreak in Wuhan, China. The lungs are usually affected first. Early symptoms include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. These appear as soon as two days or as long as 14 days after exposure to the virus. By now, each of you know the simple steps to preventing the coronavirus. So please, not just for yourself, but for your surrounding friends, just follow them. I know this is a hard time for us all, but we need to take this virus seriously before it's too late. Stay healthy, stay clean, and stay home. I'm Abigail White with BNN. Thanks, Abby. Up next is CHS senior Daisy Garza and how she and her classmates are coping with their last few weeks of senior year. With the cancellation of school and graduation upon us, the high school seniors are concerned for what lies ahead. It's my senior year and I wanted to be in school, you know, and it's canceled. I can't really do anything about it. Like uh, all the fun things I usually get to do, I don't. I just get to stay home and I'm really, you know, sad about that. I'm really hoping to go back to school and just been uh, some time with my friends and my teachers and you know just enjoy my senior year. The future for the rest of the school year is unknown but the seniors are optimistic and hoping to return. I'm Daisy Garza with Blue Cat News Network. Thanks Daisy. Now here's some tips on how to pass the time since we're spending more time indoors. I'm Daniel Vazquez with Blue Cat News Network and the COVID-19 virus has left people bored and stuck at home. While many businesses are closed Restaurants have closed also, and some only do take out. Coleman has found a way to cure the boredom in Coleman. By having a bear hunt, people will put out bears outside of their homes, and others will go searching and hunting to see how many they can find. Coleman also brought back the drag, also known as Coleman Corona Cruising. With all this time on students' hands, students worked on their homework that has been assigned throughout the weeks. Dylan Rogers from the Blue Cat News Network. I'm going to show you how to work away from school. Okay? Let's go. Alright, you go into your Google Classroom. Everything is pretty much set up to where you can get help and the work you need to see. Like, um, upcoming work is on the left side right here. And, um, we have this new thing called Zoom meetings. Um... And Richie has one. Um, some other teachers do too, just at different times than Richie. And to see that you have work, just scroll or check my classwork. Basically, you'll see it there. And things should be a bit easier. Now Faith brings us some information on the shortages we're seeing due to the COVID-19 pandemic. When this first started, a lot of our trucks were four days late. We have recovered from the milk. We are able to get milk. We are able to get bread. We've made big strides in the last week. Our warehouse has went from a 12-hour receiving day to a 24-hour receiving day. And so, I mean, they're getting product in as fast as they can. To be honest, I'm not sure on the paper towels and the toilet paper. They told us yesterday that they had 40 trucks coming, but that has to go out amongst 700 stores. I, I, I really don't know how long it's going to take. I mean, it may take us another month or two months before. I hope it's only a week, but I really don't know. Even though COVID-19 has caused a large issue, everyone is still trying hard to keep up with the demand. I'm Faith Hoover with Blue Cat News Network. As you all know, we're having to do school online now, so I spoke with CISD parent and teacher Missy Foster about how this is affecting her students and children. 
So staying at home and staring at a computer screen all day is not really that fun. Um, we do have different programs that we can use where we can meet with them like Zoom and stuff like that. So um, that gets a little interaction into it where we get to kind of see our students, but it's just still not the same. Um, as far as how it's affecting my family and my own children, because I have three children in school that are doing schoolwork as well, um, it's kind of difficult because I have to balance teaching the sixth graders and I have a seventh grade class plus my three kids that are in three different grades. So it's a little bit difficult when everybody, all the kids have a question at the same time for me to help them with and then I'm getting emails and everything from all the different students. It's hard at times, but it's also rewarding knowing that I'm getting to teach my own kids and spend more time with them. But at the same time, I still am reaching out to my own students. It's up to us as the students of Coleman ISD to take responsibility and stay on top of our schoolwork. If you need help with your assignments, don't be afraid to ask your teachers for help. I'm Dyson Sowers for being in. I wonder how Mac and Lenny are coping. Let's check in with them. Disclaimer, all scenes were filmed at least six feet away, although we advise you stay six feet away from these guys at all times. Mac World! Mac World! Yeah, 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 yeah! Alrighty! Just out here in Grandpappy's shed, waiting on Lenny to get back from getting the mail. No, it's no good. Put this on for your safety. Oh. Miss Rona's coming. Miss okay. Rona, it's no good. Ah! Oh, God. Okay. All right. Public service announcement. The COVID-17 says you have to be six feet away from each other. You got to use the Germex? What? Stay Leonard. Back. Stay back. Stay back. You just knocked my hat off. What hey, no, doing? stay back, stay back. What you no, 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 give oh. it. Lenny, give it. Let's just talk about this, okay? Okay, what are we talking about? We, we can, we get can just, back. Well, okay, just calm down. Okay, okay. we can talk this through. Calm down, okay. All right? Okay, okay. Lenny, this what? is nothing to worry about. Okay? I could die. You gotta stay Seriously. six foot away oh, from no. me. Hey, hey. Lenny. No, Lenny, no, stop. No, Lenny, no, Lenny, take the hat off. I don't okay. want to. I don't want Stop to. Stop putting that all over your face. It's, I, it's going to save my life, buddy. No. Nope. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me let me tell you something. What? There's five simple steps, okay? Okay. The first one, self-quarantine. Right. right. Major part. All right. Right. Second, social distancing. Right. Six okay? foot apart. Yes. All right. Third, washing your hands all the time. That's what the germ makes is for. Okay. All right. There we go. That's You're it. good. Are you good? That's all five okay, steps. Okay, you calm down now? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Just stay and six that, foot away. That goes for y'all too. Yeah, y'all right? too. Well, we'll see you next time on Max World. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Before we leave you on this episode of BNN, here's my take on our current situation. I'm currently coming to you from behind my great-grandparents' barn in Fisk, Texas, 13 miles south of the high school. Like you, I've been at home going on the third week due to the novel COVID-19 pandemic. The word novel is descri described as something so new and original that it's never been seen, used, or even heard of before. And I think that word applies to our new way of life, our new way of doing school at home, and just the way the world is working now in general. We've never done this before, and we're all adjusting. We're facing fears and disappointments, we're missing big events, and we're missing our friends. However, during this time of uncertainty, I've found things to be grateful for. I've got a roof over my head, food to eat, a family that loves me, and I've got hope. I'd like to leave you with a quote by the late, great Zig Ziglar, who said, when there is hope in the future, there is power in the present. Stay healthy, Blue Cats. I'm Brock Bolden. I hope to see you in person soon.